and the reason why I have to have all Hello my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Sherelle and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how I film my YouTube videos. So this is going to be a little bit more of behind the scenes of what I do because when I first started out I used YouTube to find out what sort of equipment and lighting that I should use so hopefully this video will answer some of your questions. One of the first things that I started to think about before I even started my channel was lighting and that is because I live in the UK so now Natural lighting wouldn't do me any good. If you have ever visited the UK or you live here yourself, you know that one minute it's raining, next minute it's snowing, and then the sun's out. Basically, natural lighting is just not consistent whatsoever. Lighting also helps me to film at night so that I don't even have to wait for the morning so I can film. And that is super duper convenient. I actually have three sources of light. I have one box light here one here and I have a ring light just by the camera and I also have a light up above me which is just my bedroom light and the reason why I have to have these three lights is because my bedroom light is nowhere near enough to basically light up and for you to see me as you are seeing me now so I actually started out with a ring light it was one by a company called Niwa and I purchased it on Amazon for around 60 something pounds and I did film with that ring light for about a year until the bulb blew now a serious problem that I found is that I could not find a replacement bulb for that ring light which was really really irritating so instead of searching any and everywhere for that light bulb I decided to purchase a new ring light which is the one that I use today now the ring light that I have now is also by that company called Niwa but the only difference is is that one was bulb powered but this one is LED this one is also the larger one so this one is 18 inches whereas the one that I had before was only 14 I didn't have these box lights also these are a new addition to the family so if you scroll back maybe about three months or so a lot of those videos in fact all of those videos are filmed with one ring light only and my bedroom lights what I like about this particular ring light is because it's super duper bright and it is dimmable as well which is super convenient because sometimes the lighting is a little bit too bright especially if you don't have too much space to film in now let's get into the box lights so I have one either side of me and they just help light up the background and light up the sides of my face as well the ring light itself wouldn't be enough to light up this whole room which is why I have these box lights they are also by Niwa and they are dimmable just like the ring light they are also by color too so you can put them to warm lighting or you could put them to standard white light like how I have now and I got two of these for only a hundred pounds now the difference between these box lights and most of the others is that most of them need a bulb these ones are LED so you do not need a light bulb and the reason why I have so much lighting is because this room is quite big and because of the lens that I'm using I have to sit quite far away from the camera so if you are just starting out a ring light would be just fine but it would be perfect if you have natural lighting I always felt like natural lighting is the best it looks a lot more softer and it looks a lot more natural and don't forget that daylight is free you don't have to pay for that I'm gonna quickly show you what I look like without the ring light on that is how I look like with the ring light off and I just have my room lights and two box lights and now I'm going to turn off the box lights and this is what it looks like with no lighting on whatsoever I just have my bedroom light which is above me and as you can see everything is super orange and it just doesn't look as good as it does with all the lighting on And this is what it looks like with just my ring light on so this is exactly what I mean about not needing all these box lights this does look okay with just the ring light itself but also remember the ring light is about five feet away from me so is the camera but if you sit a lot closer to the camera it will be a lot brighter than this now it's time to talk about cameras which of course is one of the most important things because how are you gonna film yourself without a camera my first video on YouTube was filmed on a Samsung s3 and that phone was released in 2012 my first YouTube video was filmed in 2000 and I think 
it was 16. I'll leave that video down in the description box below just in case you wanted to laugh at the quality. But what I'm trying to say is that that camera was four years old at the time. So you definitely do not need the most expensive camera and the best camera quality to start a YouTube channel. The phones nowadays are so much better than the cameras were in 2012. And I think we can all agree on that. So start off with your phone first and then go ahead and purchase a camera when you know that this is definitely something you want to do. The first camera that I ever purchased was this one right here. And this is the G7X Mark II. And I started using this in 2017 up until about four months ago. If you have done research about vlogging or even starting a YouTube channel, I know you have heard of this camera. And that is because it is absolutely great. The autofocus on this is amazing. And basically everything about this camera is perfect. I had no problems filming beauty videos with this even though this camera is more known for vlogging it's also really easy to use and the main thing that I liked about this camera is that it has a flip up screen so that you can see yourself at the time I purchased this almost for about 600 pounds and it was definitely worth every single penny I spent on it and I'm going to quickly show you what the footage looked like from this camera this is what I look like on this camera and as you can see the quality is really really good and this is how I filmed a lot of my videos for years I'm so glad that I got this camera honestly it's been a big help now I'm going to be talking about the camera that I'm using now which is the Canon 250D I think in the US it's called the Rebel SLR 3 I purchased this camera for about 550 and I'm just learning how to use it this is my first time using a DSLR and honestly I don't think we're doing too bad I really do like the quality the autofocus is really good as I said before filming beauty videos you need to have really good autofocus it also has a flip out screen that I can see myself in but the main reason why I wanted to upgrade from the G7X to this camera is because the G7X does not have a mic output and I wanted to start experimenting with lenses and you know just learning more about cameras in general I'm not expert at photography or anything like that I'm really just learning along the way so yeah that is the camera that I film on today. Now I'm going to switch to my G7X to show you what is behind the camera and what I am seeing when I am filming. So guys let me show you what I see when I'm filming because you guys just see this pretty background right here you don't get to see everything what is going on on the other side so let me switch this camera around and show you what is going on behind the camera I film all of my YouTube videos in my bedroom my camera hooked up to my laptop so that I can still see myself because the lens that I use now crops crops out quite a bit so I do have to use this as a viewfinder which I find better anyway so here is me and this is my laptop which I use as a monitor and I have it plugged up have it plugged in here all the way to my camera which is about five feet away over there directly in front of me I have my ring light sorry if that's blinding your eyes guys and to the right hand side of me I have a box light and to the left of me, I have another box light. So yeah, that's how everything looks when I am sitting down and filming. Let me go to the other side so that I can show you a little bit more. This is the view from where my camera is. So you can see the back of my laptop there. And that's the bit that you guys get to see. My desk and some of my plants. And there we go, there's my box lights. And my cat. <laughs> And here is everything else. Now let's move on to lenses. Honestly, I do not know a whole lot about lenses. I have a kit lens which you get when you buy a Canon camera. But the lens that gives me this nice blurry background is right here. And what gives me this blurry background is the f-stop. So right now I'm going to change the f-stop and put it a lot higher. And as you can see, the background is in full focus and it doesn't look as pretty. So as you can see, I am in full focus. My background is in full focus and it just doesn't look as nice as it did before. Of course, you can get the background really, really blurry if I move further and further away from the background. So let's go ahead and put the f-stop number back down to 1.8, which is the lowest on this lens.
there we go and that's how i get my blurry background if i come closer and closer you can see that the background gets even more blurry the only downside to this lens is that it zooms in quite a bit so i luckily have a lot of space in my bedroom to be able to put the camera about four feet away from me and have four feet of space behind me so yeah that's how I get my blurry background last but not least is audio so as I said before this lens does have quite a bit of a crop so I am about four feet away from the tripod and the camera if I was using the camera audio you just wouldn't be able to hear me as well as you can now so you may have noticed this little thing here on my chest and this is a lav mic this wire goes all the way down my top and across my floor and plugs into my camera this lav mic is called purple panda and i did a lot of research about which one i wanted to purchase and this one always had really really good reviews the audio quality is so much better than the camera could give me by itself however if you don't have to sit that far away from the camera you don't really need a lav mic at all the mic on the camera does just fine now the first thing that i use for audio is this tascam and my gosh let me tell you the audio on this is absolutely amazing i use this mainly to do my voiceovers and the reason why i do not use it on my camera or use it as an external microphone is because it's just a little bit too good i live on a main road and i live in london so there is a lot of noise going on around me and you would be able to hear any and everything with this but let me give you a quick demo on what it sounds like from my lav mic and to my tascam so as you can hear there is quite a bit of difference in audio quality i personally prefer the tascam's audio as i said earlier hopefully one day when i move somewhere slightly quieter i will be able to use this microphone again because i do love it i do use it when i do my voiceover so that i can press play and i can press stop whenever there's a lot of noise going on outside but filming an, a whole video like this it would just be too long to edit out all the noise but yeah i really really love this microphone now last of all is backdrop i don't use any fancy sparkly pretty backdrops i just prefer to film in my room because it allows me to have a lot more space as you can see i have a lot to set up and put down whenever i do need to work which is a slight inconvenience it's not that bad but as i get more equipment like i really do want a light at the top of my head i am running out of space in my room essentially so i don't really want to add a backdrop or anything like that otherwise it will just take up more space in my bedroom if you know what i mean so this backdrop right here is just fine sometimes i switch it over and i will film with my bed in the background instead of my desk that's as far as i go when it comes to backdrops so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i also hope that i answered all of you guys' questions on how i get my youtube videos filmed i do have more information to share if you wanted to know a little bit more because essentially this is my full-time job so i will see you guys in the next video bye